Hey guys, Matt from Tackle West. Uh, today we're going to bring you the first part in probably like a three part series of videos all about brim fishing with lures, all the tackle, all the gear you need to get into it. In recent months we've really noticed an uptick in guys wanting to get out there and give it a go whether it be from a land based situation or a boat or a kayak um, and in the last 6 to 12 months we've really increased our range of product to carry every colour, every size of each individual range of lures to give you pretty much every option you could need to go out and catch one. Um, so behind me we've got the plastics wall here. It's looking a little bit bare. I only just ordered some and they've already gone out the door. We've got the new ST grubs and a few other things. Um, and then along the wall here, you move into our little, little L-shaped section, which is expanding all the time. Some more specific plastics, hard bodies, you've got your top water, a uh, heap of new pro lure stuff, cranker, uh, uh, eco gear, you've got your ZX blades, SX40s, every zip bait color imaginable. Um, every color, every size of the double clutches, 48, 60s, 75s, 90s, even bigger sizes over there. And then the Daiwa in feet range as well. And if you come back here on this side, we've just recently expanded all our lines. Um, we've got the new Crosslink, Yamatoya, Chino Harris, some Varavas, J Thread, FC Sniper, Castaway, Siglon, Varavas, you name it, we've pretty much got it. And then on this side, um, all your usual gear you use the, the decoy trebles, uh, the YS25s, Gamma Double 21s, which are really popular, decoy and owner split rings, Gamma Round 25s, 211s, Snagless Razor Edge. I'm getting out of breath, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, but in the first part today, I think we're going to go and talk about rods and maybe some reels and go through a few different price points and bits of the gears, match it together and, um, and give you some options to get you started um, up to your high end stuff. Alright, so in behind me here we've got our little rod alley uh, with all the brim gear, uh, all the light tackle stuff. So I think we'll start with, we'll organise by price point. So if you're looking to get into it, you can get a combo, you know, a decent combo off the rack for under 150 bucks and it will get you started. But if you can, uh, spending that little bit more initially, you're going to have a lot more success throwing lures because today we're talking specifically about lure fishing. Um, having the right rod, reel and line really makes a difference into, into your introduction to lure fishing and it will make it a much more enjoyable experience. So I think we'll start with rods sort of under $200. And there's a few options, um, but by far and away, the best option is the in entry level version of the in feet rods. Um, they've been around for a little while now. They were, they were, um, they were made for basically by tournament angles on the East Coast um, with Daiwa um, to give you the best rod for the price. Um, really high quality blanks. It features the Fuji Faz Light guides, um, which are really nice with the, the tangle free uh, guide frames and they come in a heap of different um, models. There's a blue and white version, which we just picked up here. And these are the regular taper rods. So they tend to bend a bit more through all the way in the blank. So the, the tip goes and then the midsection goes and then the bottom goes. So it's a bit more of an even taper. And typically we like to use these rods for lures with trebles, uh, where the, the fish can throw the hooks a little bit easier. And then you've also got the, the red and black versions which are these guys here, uh, and they tend to be your faster taper rods. So the tip is still soft enough to, to cast light lures and, and, and feel everything that's going on, but they, they lock up a little bit quicker in the blank. So they lock up a bit further uh, up the blank, uh, which allows you to set those single hooks where if you're using soft plastics. Uh, so they all come in at $199.99. There's a couple of other rods you could look at, um, possibly like your Atomic Arrows or Abu Ray Rex, around that 130 to 150 to 170 price point. And they are good options as well, but in my mind, if you're spending about 150, you'd really do well to spend that extra 50 bucks and look at, uh, and look at one of these base level in feats. We sell a stack of them. Um, this rack is usually overflowing. We only just got a dollar order in and they're already gone again. Um, then next price point, we'll look at about two to $400. Um, and in that price point, again, it's very hard to go past an in-feet. This one is the Z model. So again, you have the, the red and the black and the blue and the black. It means the same thing, fast and, and regular taper. With these, you have a higher end componentry on there. So you have stainless silicon rings down the bottom of the rod. And when you see the binding change color up here, these are titanium rings. Um, and what that does, it's, it's a much lighter material, corrosion free, and it frees up the end of that rod to really give you sensitivity uh, with a lot less weight. And you can cast further, feel more with your lures in the water and it ultimately hook more fish. 
these have models ranging from like six foot four through to seven foot eight uh, in every taper and every configuration you could possibly want for plastics or hard bodies for land-based kayak whatever you want to do um, there's one in there for you the other rod under 400 bucks which i really like is the miller rod xflc uh, we also sell a lot of this rod. This one's seven foot three. It's a two-piece butt joint. Uh, we've done a video on these, I believe, before on the Miller rods. Uh, these are really cool because they feature the skeleton grip, so ultimate sensitivity, lightweight, you feel everything. These run the Fuji Faz Light Tangle Free Guides. Um, Ian from, uh, from Miller Rods has been designing rods for a stupidly long time, probably longer than I've been alive, um, and he's got it down to an art. And um, every rod in this range is just, it does exactly what you want it to do for the cer certain technique. Um, and that for the under 400 bucks is one of my favorite rods. There's also a few other ones like a shorter Bass Freak. There's a bunch of models. Um, check out the previous Miller Rod video if you want to have a look at a few of those. Um, but yeah, under 400 bucks, you can't go wrong with either of those kind of rods. Now, if you have a bit more coin to spend, um, sort of upwards of 400 bucks, you really get to play with some, some really nice gear. Um, since we're in front of them at the moment, I'll, I'll show you the Miller rods. They also have a higher end model. Um, they feature full titanium guides uh, with a mixture of silicon rings. Um, they're really technique specific. So you have things like the Brawler, which is like a structure rod, the Grub Freak. Um, you have the Blade Freak, you've got the Twitch Freak, and these all do specific techniques um, really, really well, as well as doing everything else. Um, but if you really use them for what they're designed to do, they do it just to perfection. And they're looking at around that $595 price point, but you get like the best of rod componentry. Um, a lot of guys who come in and, and felt them for the first time and then go out and use them, really, they come back and they usually buy more. Um, but they just say how much better it is using a specific technique rod. Um, the other rod, which we sell a lot of, and I'm a big fan of as well, just for the pure range, is the EX Infeats. Um, so they have titanium guides, along the bottom of the rod and they move into uh, AGS which is the air guide system which is a Daiwa tech it's a carbon guide um, and that's even lighter again and just gives you that ultimate sensitivity on the end of the rod for casting and, and feeling lure, uh, your lure working through the water uh, and they have models from I think it's like six foot seven through to seven foot five in both that slow and fast taper rod uh, and there's one in there for every occasion and if you follow me over this way, you've got a couple of other ones in the Daiwa stable, which I do like. Um, the light versions of the, the Daiwa um, commander rods, they feature a full cork grip, which some people really like. It's ultra light, gives you a lot of sensitivity. Um, and they have some really nice blanks around that 6.8 through the 7.4. Uh, really good quality blanks. They also feature the carbon guides on the tip that I was talking about before with the EX models. Uh, and they're a really good option for around five hundred dollars five hundred fifty dollars uh, from the top of my head um, and they're really nice rods as well and then there's two more I think I'll mention these are the brand new Daiwa TD Battlers uh, they have been around for a long time in previous forms and this is the brand new version they've updated the carbon guides so it's a new version of the AGS with a new internal ring uh, I'm not technical but there's a different material in each ring uh, makes it a lot better a lot smoother uh, a lot lighter uh, the blanks are really nice. It features a mix of EVA and cork um, and they're, they're an awesome rod and they come in around that seven to eight hundred dollar price point. Now the last one I'll show you, um, which is an ultra premium, really nice stick, is the Infeet Limited AGS. Now if you want to get these you do have to be quick because there's not many of them around. This is our last one. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more but this features a full AGS guide train as well uh, with a titanium tip and this thing is 7 foot 4 has a solid tip it's a it's a one of rod in terms of the models uh, and it's basically designed for a very specific thing which is casting very light soft plastics a long way across the flats and then really setting the hook if you cast that lure 40 50 meters and you get a bite straight away this blank is designed so you can set that hook and catch that fish so this is a beautiful rod they come in at 7.99 um, but they are a great stick so I think that's all the rods. Um, we might move over to the reels and start looking at what you can match up with these things. All right, so moving on to the reels, I think we'll break this one up into price categories again. So first of all, we'll look at sort of everything up to about $250. Um, and with spinning reels, uh, with the current line of reels, 
it really is hard to go past Daiwa's range. Uh, whether you spend like 70 bucks or a thousand bucks, you're getting a really smooth twine reel with a good drag system. And they're the most important things. It's a good drag and it's nice and smooth. So for under that $250 price point, um, there's a couple of good options. I actually quite like the Daiwa Acceler. Now this one's in at around that $160 price point. It features a one-piece handle, which I like. It's one less place for corrosion. Um, has a deep spool, so you can fit plenty of line on there. Um, really good smooth drag system, five and one bearings. Um, really nice reel for its price point. Uh, and will match up to any of those in feet rods we were talking about before. If you wanted to spend a little bit more, you could jump up to something like your Dio Freeze. Uh, which has been a super popular reel over the years. It's had a bunch of different iterations. Uh, and the current one here uh, is this guy in front of you. Um, it comes, all these reels come in a range of sizes, but the ones we're looking at for the rods we're gonna use is 2000s and 2500s. You can also look at 1000s, but that's basically the same as a 2000. It's just spool size differences, which is, you know, you get into the nitty gritty and the details. So those frames are going to set you back around 229 um, and really good value for money. Um, great reels, good smooth drag. Um, yeah, you can't really go too wrong. The next price point is sort of that 250 to 450. And in my opinion, this is where it's a really good place to play. Uh, it's where your best value for money is. Um, the jump from that first price bracket to here, it's a lot, you get a lot for your money. Um, especially even from going to that next price bracket up. It's really where you, where you get a lot for your money. So my two favorite reels by a long way are the Caudia and the TD Black. Now, what I like about these is they are very smooth, very light. Uh, it's a carbon composite body. It's the Zion 5 material. Uh, ultra light, very, uh, very sensitive. You feel a lot through it as well. Uh, and they also come in more specific sizing. So when you get to this price point, you get, uh, you get shallow versions. So what the, what the difference is between a deep and a shallow is, is the spool capacity for one. But my favorite thing is that it actually has a lighter drag setting. And you might go, oh, well, why? I want the most drag I can get. But when you're doing this finesse kind of fishing, uh, I actually find having a lighter drag system gives you much finer uh, incremental control over what, you're, what drag pressure you're fishing. Uh, for example, these fish five kilo drags, whereas the deep spools fish 10 kilo. So for every click with that 10 kilo drag, you're getting double the pressure. And if you're using fine hooks, fine trebles, you click that too much and in the excitement of a fire and put, pop, there goes your fish um, and you're not, you've lost your fish. So uh, I prefer shallow spools and also most, spool, most spools of line for your brim fishing come in 150 meter lots anyway. So if you've got a deep spool, you're gonna to have to whack like 70 meters of mono backing on there to just to get your line to sit on the on the spool correctly. So big fan of shallow spool reels. You also, in this price point, is where you get into the monocoque body, um, which we've talked about in many videos before. It's a, it's a one piece system where the, the gear and the body, it screws directly together. Uh, no screws on the side plate. It's, it's more powerful. It's, it's a physically bigger gear. Um, and then you go, well, why for brim? Or when I'm fishing structure, I have my drag set perfectly and I can just crank and wind that fish out of structure and not have to worry about it. And it gives me a lot more power to crank fish out of uh, snags and pylons and all that kind of thing. Uh, the other, other reel you would look at in this price point uh, would probably be your TD Salt. It's, uh, it's the new version. It's been around again, one of those reels that have been around for a long time. Uh, it's been ever popular, but you either hate it or you love it. That orange color, it can be quite divisive, uh, but it has those shallow spool versions in a 2000 and a 2500. Same drag pressure, five kilos, um, ultra smooth, nine bearings. They come in at 429 and also a really great option. Now, if you can, uh, the next price point up, 450 and above is you, you do notice a difference. Like it is the, you get really premium quality reels. Um, and where you'd start would probably be the Dial Revelry and you'd look at the FC model, not the HD. The HD is good for your saltwater stuff, but the FC is definitely uh, much finer tuned. It's based off of Alluvius, uh, has a very similar body and setup, um, but it has the shallow spool versions, has that lighter, more incremental drag. Uh, and you can just feel in the, in the way you want, when you wind that handle, you can feel everything is just, it's, it's tighter and not in a bad sense. It's just been put together really, really well. Um, and you can just notice, you can feel the quality in it. So the next two reels you'd look at 
uh, in that next step up. The first one is the Certate. This is the LT version. Uh, so the Certate has been around, again, one of those reels, a perennial reel uh, in many different versions. This is the latest one. It has that light tough concept, really nice drags, um, that big monocoque body. And uh, this one's actually got a metal body or an alloy body. So it is fractionally heavier. So say you're looking at your, your high end light reels like your Luvius Aerodine exists where they're around that 150 to, 200, uh, 150 to 160 gram. This is around 205 grams, which, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's like a 25% increase. So uh, it is a bit, but I actually find on some rods, this slightly heavier reel does balance them out better. I prefer on like say like a Miller rod um, where it's a bit longer. I actually quite like the Certate to balance it out and put the weight back in the hand and you actually don't notice that extra weight. Um, it is only 50 grams plus these things to wind are just it's another level of, of smoothness um, and if you're going to work your reels really hard as well in that harsh uh, sort of brackish water environment uh, these have the CRBB so it's a higher quality bearing for corrosion resistance uh, definitely a good thing to look at and then the next one it's the it's the best of the best it's the dyer exist this is the new 2022 version uh, I think we might have even sold out of those small ones again uh, every time we get them in they just literally go straight out the door uh, these features all the new air drive stuff um, it just makes that real it's hard you have to have to feel it to believe it 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 just has no resistance to, to start or stop and that was kind of the concept it's much easier to start and stop your wine to, to move that lure and really control uh, what you're doing it just it feels like there's nothing there at all um, and these guys you're looking at around that sort of 1049 1149 price point but made in japan it is the the best of the best um featuring all that stuff and all that new air drive as well so um yeah if you can afford it <laughs> this is uh this is what you go for all right so we've just gone through all those rods and reels and i've gone through all those bits and pieces we looked at and i've picked out my three favorite combos uh i'm going to show you them now and have a look below we're going to link them below to the tacklewest.com.au so you can go and check them out for yourselves um, but the first one i've got here is the infeet uh, base level model, which is the 732, matched with the 2000 shallow size frames. Uh, awesome little combo and, and won't break the bank. The mid range combo is the Infeet Z, again a 732. I think that 73 is a really good all round length. Uh, and that's with the Daiwa Soul, the 25 shallow. Uh, really, really nice combo and uh, you'll definitely stand out from the crowd. And then lastly, if you've got some, uh, some coin to spend and you really want to get into your brim fishing, I've got the Miller rod. This is a Blade Freak, but also a Grub or any of those other high-end rods matched with a Certate 25 shallow. And this, in my mind, is perfection and it looks pretty down good as well. So yeah, check the links down below, head to the website, have a look, um, or come into store and we can run you through all this gear and um, get you set up properly. So this is part one of our little brim series. Uh, in the next part, we're gonna go through all your lines, leaders, you know, fluoros, braids, all that kind of thing. Uh, for what situation, we'll match them up to these rods and reels um, and it will get you set up really well. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel um, and we'll see you again in the next video.